Hi guys, I have some fantastic news for you and I hope you can hear me. Let me know if you can actually hear my sound. I really need to know. But I'll just wait for some of you guys to come on live. Let's see if you're here. I've got some good news for you. Let's see. Um, internet. Um, hi, hi, Hanny's Place and I am James and two more. Let's have a look. I need to know. I haven't done a live for ages on Instagram. Hi, Daddy, you're Vion. Well, let me wave you back. Right, so I've got some good news for you. Can I wave you back? Hi, Lowell, you're right. Okay, right. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Right, let's just wait for some more. Let's wait for internet. Uh, no, sorry, the, um, what do you call this place? Instagram to alert you guys for coming. I have some good news for you. You know me. I like to give good news wherever I can. We all need a bit of good news on a Friday. What do you think? Hello, Trendy Classy. Love that name. Love that handle. Hello, Ogabu. Hello, Nanaisha. Nanaisha. Hi. Right. So, okay, here we go. I'm going to get 43% on my inter on my phone, so hopefully that should do. I won't take too much of your time. It's a Friday. You're busy. Right. So, first of all, I just want to say, hi, welcome to UK Bright Education. Um, I really, really hope that you benefit from the content. I really hope that I can help you. Okay, no matter where you are in the world, I really hope that what we do here will help you. The whole point of my business is UK Pride Education. We are um, a student consultancy agency, no, a student recruitment agency. What that means is I am the lead student consultant and I will be helping you, hopefully, if I can, to get to a UK university admission. Now, oh, Fashabs, hi. Right, so basically, not Kotra. Hi, Assalamu alaikum. Right, so basically, I just want to say the following things. Uh, if you want, I can speak in Bangla, not a problem. Right, um, you, w I will drop a live, which I've just, just done with one of my students, Chibweza in I Ibo. Um, some of you will understand it, some of you won't. Hello, Fashabs. So basically what it is, is that um, the, int the in network wasn't very good, but um, see if you can bear with it that's great if not i'll do it again with him not a problem but um the internet was really bad okay now let me talk about the um uh, title for today hi onazi you all right right so basically what it is is this i've got some good news for you now you know me i i don't like to say no to anybody now we have had students who are coming in you know i'm getting requests and cvs where students have uh, only got an o and d okay i have some good news for you um, the good news is this, if you have an OND, so an ordinary national diploma, if you don't have the H, if you don't have a HND, but you only have an OND, what I'll do is this, I can help you and help you to get an admission, hopefully if everything else is okay, um, an admission for a pre top up program in business. Okay, but you've got to make sure the study gap is short. So guys, if you have anybody who hasn't done a HND, but they've done an OND, you can do a pre top up. What that means is that you can't get a direct admission for a, for a bachelor's yet. You need to do a course. OK, so that course could be one term or two terms. So I'm telling you this uh, April has gone. So the next intake is June. OK, June, June, June. Just the way Waka Waka Doctor used to say, if you can make it for June, this is the story. So the, uh, the pre top up means you start in June, you finish in September. OK, so you do the pre top up in business. And my goodness, the courses you can do is fantastic. I'll tell you what the course I need to log in and find out. That's number one. Number two is then you go into the bachelor's in September. No wasting of time. You and me know time is valuable. We don't want you to waste time. So if you've done, if you haven't done a HND, you've done an OND, you can you can get an admission for June, okay? And then so June to September is the uh, pre top up, okay? So you you'll get you we're getting your skills ready. The kind of skills that you'll be doing, the kind of modules you'll be doing, is all related to business, and you know how to study in the UK and things like that. Hi guys, hi Muneeb, salam alaikum. That's one of my student ambassadors, right? So that's that. How does that sound? How does that sound? My goodness. Now, so if you have an OND, I'm telling you, you can do this. It can be done. Just DM me direct with a CV. Um, I think my email address is in my bio. If you feel you have a friend or if you have an OND, an um, ordinary national diploma from your home country, you can come to the UK. Inshallah, that's the will. Okay, so for June, June to September, the pre top up, 
September, you start a new chapter in your life, you start your bachelor's. Okay, I must stress, if you, in a family way, if you have family with a bachelor's, unfortunately, you cannot bring your family. I've already had a consultation last night with one of my students. He's waiting to hear from me. I hope he's not here, but he's waiting to hear from me. So basically, um, if you've done an OND, you cannot bring your families because you're on an undergraduate course. Okay, so question. You're probably thinking, let's see. Can I have a private chat with you after the video, if possible? Um, just contact me, DM me, then I'll let you know. Right. So basically, if you've got HND, what could you do? This is the thing. Either you can do a pre-masters and then go to masters. Okay, listen to this. Listen to this. So from a HND, you've got two options, my friends. One is you can do a pre-masters followed by masters. You can bring family. Okay, you can bring family. Or if you're not in a family way, if you're still single, guess what? This is one of my students have done, Chigozi. You can do, you can come to the UK, study a top up in business administration, and it only takes nine months of your life. Okay, so two options. So if you want to do batch, if you want to graduate with a bachelor's, you can do. You do a top up um, at De Montfort University direct. So you graduate with a UK British degree. Okay nine months of your life okay and then if you want to do masters if you want to bring your spouse or children or whatever you can do or the other option is from a hnd you can go you can do pre-masters followed by masters how does that sound i'm going to look at your questions now let's see if you have any questions oh hello lots of waves such lovely people you guys are so friendly i'm just clicking on to lots of waves okay let's have a look Oh, Pablo is here. He's one of my students are here. Okay, I'm going to go up a bit. Uh, Manip, wa alaikum aslam. You're nailing it as well as thank you. You're, you're too kind with your words, please. You're just making me blush. It's all makeups. Right, okay, let me see. Um, okay, do you have any questions, guys? You must have a question. It is application season now, okay? Hurry, hurry, hurry. I don't want to sound like a... What do you call them? Um, a used car dealer. Uh, no, I don't want to sound like a salesperson, but what can I do? Because there is no time. I have been looking for PhD schemes. Ibrahim, hello, assalamu alaikum. Right, uh, PhD, my friend, I don't really deal with PhD admissions. Um, I'm actually going to plug another Instagrammer. Um, what's her name? Uh, she's also, um, she's a lecturer at a university. If you could DM me, I'll, I'll refer you to another person. She is fantastic with PhDs. She's a lecturer from the UK um, and she did a PhD. And so she will help with those kind of things. I'd love to, I'd love to help you. Can you please talk about study gap thing? Ah, Hani's place. Yes. Right. Study gap meaning academic study gap, meaning that since you last studied your HND or OND, how many years has it been? So for example, let me see. If, for example, you tell me that Afsana, um, I graduate, I've completed my OND in 2016. How many years has it been? 16. So you say 17, 18, 19, 20, 17, 18, 19. 2021, 20, 22. So that's six years. Can you see? If you finished your um, OND or a HND, let's say in 2019, how many years study gap is that? So 2019, 20, 21, 22. Okay, so it's three years. Can you see? Does that make sense, um, Hannes? I bet her name is Hani. Right, so basically that's what it is. So your next question to me should be, if I'm applying for Dumont University, what is the, um, you know, what's the acceptable study gap? maximum it is five years but saying that if you you if you need to, if yours is beyond that okay so probably six or seven okay then you'll need to fill in an enhanced personal statement okay it's a template that the university provides i can provide that as well for you so because you have life skills you have done a lot in life life's come in the way you worked and things have happened not a problem but yeah the cutoff point is about five if it goes beyond, you need to work a bit harder in, in terms that you need to do an enhanced personal statement. Talk to me. Let's see if we can work this out. Right. How can I contact you after this video? Um, send a CV to me. My email address is in my bio. Next. How do I apply for an admission for a master's program? Ah, hi, Ovai. Um, send a CV. Let's talk. Let's. I'll send you a reply and I'll talk to you about finances and whether it's realistic and if there's anything missing from your CV and then I'll, I'll probably contact you. Precious. Does UK really worry about study gaps? Um, okay. 
Yes, yeah, precious, yes, I know precious. So that's why she's asking about that. I know why she's asking. Basically, when your application sits on the admission officer's desk, they are going to check you out. They will see, why does the student want to come now after so many years? What's their motivation? Do they really want to come as a, for a student or do, you want the, do they want to come for other reasons? Okay, you know what I mean by other reasons. If you've had a study gap for, let's say, 15 years, why do you want to study now? So in your personal statement, I keep saying this, and now it's becoming compulsory or mandatory for Ghanaian and Nigerian students for Demont University, you will need to do a credibility interview. They want to assess and check your motivation behind your application. Okay, if it's from the heart, if you are here to study, they will see through it and then you will fly, we will pass with flying colours. Okay, so study gap is important because um, they need to do due diligence and they need to know the motivation, the intention of the student. Are they really here to study or not? If the gap is too long, then alarm bells will say, hmm, why do they really want to know? So in your application, you need to justify the gap. Okay, they are willing, they'll accept applications, not a problem. If it's longer than five, you need to fill in a different personal statement. It's called an enhanced personal statement. But talk to me. Let's go through this together. Oh, hi, Fahad. Fahad is here. Right. Okay. Anybody else? Ibrahim, I have an organization that's paying my full tuition fee. Oh, you're very lucky. But living expenses are about expensive. How do one go about it? Okay. You need to go to one of my videos. One of my students is here. Um, how to get a job. So basically, I don't know where your uh, Ibrahim, tell me which city you're in. Oh, uh, tell me which city you're in. Right, to me, it's Toluriel. You said, can I use my electrical engineering OND, please? Yes, but to do a business degree. Right, do you want to know what kind of business courses you'd like to do from the OND? Let me find that out. If you could give me, I should have done. I, this is, I just did this, you know, randomly. I just thought, no, I've got to tell this information. You know me. I tend to, um, uh, I'm trying to get it out. Let me see. Oh, my God, I've got it. Right, so you did electrical engineering OND. I need to talk to them. To, um, to me, say, if you could contact me, tell me more about your background, and then I can ask the university on your behalf if you can do the business. The only things you can do, this top up, my friend, is in business only. Okay, so to, uh, get in touch. Let's talk about it. Let's see if it's possible. So if you need to know the courses that you can do after the top up, let's see if you like these. Let me know. Advertising and marketing communications, accounting and business management, business management and finance, business management and HRM, business and management, business and marketing, business, entrepreneurship and innovation. I like that one. Fashion management. Oh, my goodness. I have two students applying for that. Human resource management, HRM. You can do that from the OND. Uh, global arts management. Why not? Let's do this. And the last one is international finance and business. Do any of them sound interesting to you? Let me know. Do any of them sound interesting to you? I uh, Lawal, you said, I have h and and I would like to apply for master's. Ooh, uh, what is the way forward, please? Lawal, contact me direct. You need to do a pre-master's followed by a master's. So contact me direct. Ibrahim from Malaysia. You did it from Malaysia. You did your... Okay, hold on. So in you did electrical engineering, OND in Malaysia. Talk to me. According to this, all it says, my friend, is a qualifying diploma from home country. But I need to know that can you do electrical engineering, OND, and can you then do business? I think you can, because some of the modules in the um, pre-top up is business. So you'll get that revision. And then you go on to the uh, bachelor's. Right, anybody else? I need to, you're all waving. And it's so rude if I don't wave, so I need to wave. I study history and international studies, would like to study data analytics. Oh, uh, Faro, if you're studying that to do data analytics, you need to do a relevant degree in data analytics, but you can do a pre-master's followed by master's if you'd like to do that. There's lots of lovely questions. You've got great questions. Right. OK, I'm going to stop there. Um, do uh, re rewind back and watch from the beginning. But I just came here quickly straight away to say that, look, pre-top up is available for June. OK, if you want to come for June, if the money is in the bank, if you have the means to pay the deposit, the deposit uh, for this, let me see. Let me tell you what it is for pre top up. I'll just tell you very quickly. Right. So if you do one term, it's ten thousand pounds initial deposit. You need to pay for the pre top up course 
not for the bachelors. You pay the bachelors when September starts. Okay, so that's what it is. So number one is, do you have the means to pay the deposit, which is £10,000 for the pre-top? It's actually £9,995, but you know what I mean. That's for one term. Okay, I need to find out what you need to do to qualify for a one term. So it depends on your um, on your background. So I need to have a look. But if you think that this is for you, hey, OND students, okay, if your study gap is short, as Precious was asking me, um, contact me. So you do it from June to September, and then you start your life as a bachelor student from September. If you are a HND student, like I said earlier, you can do a, you can do top up business for September top up if you're if a single person and you haven't got family you don't have family then you graduate with a bachelor's degree at De Montfort University or if you want to bring family and you only have a HND if your study gap is up to seven years you can do it is I'm not gonna say you can do you may I've got to remember oh my husband says never say you can you have to say you may it's legal things I don't know okay I'm gonna stop saying can you may be able to get an admission. Now, uh, you need to come for June for that as well. Or the next one is January. Oh, I need to say this. Be clever. Be clever, my friends. If you want to come for a pre-masters, come in January. Because what will happen is you'll get two summer holidays. Okay? Do you know what that means? That means you can work full time. Okay? So if you want to pre-masters, I would push that to January because you'll do your pre-masters for two terms summer holiday and then you start your masters in september then you get another summer holiday okay so you get two okay just a big tip there right anybody else i could be here all day but you guys okay hold on oh i shouldn't have done that my charge is going okay let's see uh ibrahim i'm asking about living cost living expenses yeah uh living expenses ibrahim if you're um these are the official numbers so if you're in the city of london the living cost for nine months is £12,006, I believe. But double check it on gov.uk website. If you're outside the city, it's £9,125. That's for nine months living costs. You need to show that in the bank as well as your fee. Okay. Anything else? Anybody else? Other qu I need questions. Or oh, Presh, I'm looking to apply for HR. Oh, nice course. Masters in Leicester. Is this a good place for family? Ah, where shall I start? I... I'm not going to repeat this, but I am from Leicester. I'm born in Leicester. My whole life is in Leicester. Okay, this is a massive plug for Leicester because I was born in the city, right? So basically, it is a very, very, very family oriented city. People come from all corners of the world because of the family environment. Uh, food costs are reasonable. Accommodation is also reasonable. Um, if you'd like to know more about accommodation, um, there is a special website. What was the website called? Spareroom.com. Okay, you can go there direct and can find out. Um, so live, food is cheap, is quite cheap. Um, living accommodation is quite cheap. Uh, there is job available. The economy is picking up. Um, the cases of COVID-19 is going up and down. It depends which variant it is. But um, that will always be with us now, isn't it? So, yeah, in terms of family... I would recommend it highly. What would happen is if your children are three and a half or above, they can get free education. Okay, so if you have a baby who is three and a half, 15 hours nursery education free of charge. Once they're about four, four and a half, they can go into part time kindergarten education. And once they're five, full time. Okay, so mums and dads out there, if you want to do that, if you have children who are older, why not? Right, I have, um, I've got this red button. Who is that? Let's see. Ogobu. Okay, shall I do this? There's someone who wants to come and see me. Ogobu, right, this is this is nerve wracking. Okay, let me try. Okay, Ogobu, I'm going to press the button. I've never done this. this. I'm nervous now. Right, one of my followers, I believe. Is she coming? You have to say yes, I think, or something. Have you ever done this where you bring alive someone joining you who you don't know? Okay, she's saying no. Or maybe she, internet's not working. Right, anybody else? Any other question? Is there a presence for someone still running BSc programs in Nigeria to finish in the UK? Ooh, Fashabs, good question. Um, is it uh, business? Hold on, uh, let's have a look. So you're doing a bachelor's right now in Nigeria and the strikes are on in Nigeria and you want to finish it off in this country. Uh, Fashabs, did you do HND? 
previous oh that's a good question i need to ask them uh could you talk to me dm me um send your cv then we'll talk okay looking at doing mba at derby three kids what do you think um i'm not an authorized partner for derby university so i can't really speak on 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 behalf of derby um i think you need to do your research okay um for derby university things that you need to look out for when you look at mbas is this that what is the employability percentage of that particular university how many students become employed within 6 months after graduation so for example dumont university i'm very proud of them because i'm the authorized partner but it is a fact it's 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 a, it's more than 95% of students go straight into employment after graduation at dumont university but check out for derby please um arin lamd have a look um look at how their careers department is dumont sorry i have to be biased dumont university we have a awards award winning uh, careers department they are passionate about students getting a job have a look at your university look at the career services look at the employability um you know what kind of support will you get and what where have graduates gone from that degree those are the kind of things you, you should look at if you apply direct then you should check online if you apply through an agent ask your agent to do the legwork for you and to find out for you okay i hope that helps uh, what about bsc with third class my goodness i need you harkins underscore sun yes you can do it you can do it my friend so basically you can do a pre masters followed by a masters so you do need to do pre masters so harkin contact me and we could you can come in january anybody else anybody else i think i'm done shall i do this more often let me know because um i get the latest information and i can tell you direct on the spot what to do um okay okay you talked about living costs i am looking for someone saying hey char i've talked about that pre masters faro oh hello faro underscore nima pre masters how does that work so basically i haven't got my thing with me um pre masters is for people who have completed a hnd or have a third class okay pre masters is for people who have got a third class in the bachelor's or they've done a hnd um so basically you've got to ensure that you've got yxc 6 or above in english language so therefore the mufi university will accept i won't say will accept may be able to give you an offer i've got to be careful i've got to be careful they may be able to give you an offer i would highly recommend you contact me now faro for january admission okay if you've done a hnd two terms if you've done a bachelor's one term okay talk to me and then we'll take it from there anybody else uh okay faro to the masters okay okay i think i'm done here it's best to keep it short okay right let me know if you like me doing this kind of thing live so i can just answer your question just straight away do this more often harkins i'll try my best oh my god my um charge is going <laughs> okay anybody else i'd love to wave but i don't think i'll be able to get to everybody right is there still enough time to apply yes presh ahidosa yes 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 i would love to help you contact me send your cv in let's have a chat okay um tomorrow i'm a bit busy but after that i'll be fine is the, sorry i don't mean to say that should i is because it's my birthday mike i need to give my kids a chance to treat me for a change okay i'm the one sorry i have to say this i'm always the one who wraps the gifts who organizes the credit the credit card the greeting cards who does the decoration i'm going to see if my family if they if they do it for me and just to save money what i've done is i've told them forget wrapping paper why don't you just get gift bags and just put it on the dining table and then i'll i'll put i'll act the tum surprised and they're so lazy my family members and i shouldn't complain shukran alhamdulillah i they said mom just give us excel spreadsheet with the website and the price and the item and we'll just order it so i said okay fine so that's what i've done so I'm, every single one i don't like to waste it's not good to waste guys so i said that look i need this i need this and i did and i've given them a budget So yeah I'm I'm very blessed so I'm looking forward to tomorrow but yeah if you like me doing these lives I'm more than happy to do it a couple of minutes uh, sorry for asking you are uh, talking about hold on can I do masters directly with my pgd in nigeria oh ronke.a.ivo talk to me talk to me talk to me with pgd i need to know um how long is the gap 
okay, that you've done it. Did you do it at a university? Do you have the degree in transcripts? I know we have a strike in Nigeria at the moment in all our educational establishments. It's going to be tough. Talk to me. Let's see if we can work it out. And I'd love you to come um, for master's PGD, PGD. Did you do a degree before? I need to know. There's too much, too many questions. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the uh, contact address. Can I write it in here? Let's see. It's Afsana. Um, let me do it. Afsana at ukbrighteducation.com. I've just sent you the email address. So send your CV. Just say that you've been, you've, you've attended the OND um, live show today. And then I'm more than happy to um, talk with you. Not a problem. Okay. Right. I'm going to go. Um, I'm going to let you start dreaming. Dream. Oh, can I tell you a funny story? Okay, this this is what happens. This is what happens. As soon as the CV comes along, I look at it, then I contact the student, and then I talk to you direct. And you know when I say all my pieces, this is what happens. So I talk and talk and talk, and I tell them, this is the UK's like this, like this, like this. And then when I finish talking, sometimes I get silence. Why do you think they're silent, the student? So then after like five seconds, I'll ask the student, this is real. I should write a book about this. I said, uh, student, are you looking at the ceiling, at the wall, or at a mirror? Guess what they say? They say, how do you know, Ma? Do you find that funny? I find it funny. Sorry. I'm laughing at my own jokes. So basically, students start to daydream. They think, my life. And they just start daydreaming. Okay, that's, I don't know if you lot find that funny. I find that funny. Okay, sometimes students, they start to sing. Seriously, I'm telling you, students start to sing. So I, I hope I can produce that result with you guys. Okay, I, I really have to go. I'm going to start talking for, I could talk for Great Britain. Not a problem. Right, I will let you go. Um, I wish you well. Um, it's a good Friday. Um, you know, it's a good time of year, good time of the week, you know, time to relax, reflect. If you feel this is useful, please share. If you feel that you want to come to the UK, if you have the financial means, then please contact me. Okay. My email address is in my bio. Just send your CV and I'll, I'll take it from there. I'll look at it and contact you by email or by text. Okay. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.